All right, Gryffindors, listen up. We're here today to talk about one of the most pivotal moments in our fight against the forces of darkness, the creation of Dumbledore's army. This was a turning point, my friends, a moment when we stood up and said, enough is enough. We're not going to let Umbridge and her cronies dictate our lives anymore. But it wasn't easy, oh no. Hermione, bless her brilliant mind, had to come up with a cunning plan to rally the troops and bring us all together. She knew that Umbridge was trying to limit our access to defense against the dark arts, to keep us weak and vulnerable. But we Gryffindors don't back down from a challenge, do we? No, we rise to the occasion and show that old toad who's really in charge around here, and so, Hermione hatched her plan. She gathered us all in the hog's head, away from prying eyes and Umbridge spies, and laid it all out for us. We needed to form our own defense group, to learn the practical magic that Umbridge was denying us. We needed to be prepared, to be ready, to be able to defend ourselves and our loved ones against the forces of darkness. A T first, some of us were hesitant. We were scared, unsure of ourselves, worried about the consequences if we were caught. But then Harry stepped up, and oh, my friends, the way he spoke, it was like a fire had been lit inside us all. He told us that we couldn't let fear hold us back, that we had to stand up and fight for what we believed in. And you know what? He was right to so we all agreed, didn't we? We signed our names on that parchment, sealing our commitment to this cause, to this fight against the forces of evil. And from that moment on, Dumbledore's army was born. We were no longer just students, my friends, we were soldiers, warriors, ready to take on whatever challenges came our way and let me tell you, the training was intense. Harry, bless his brave heart, took on the role of our leader, our teacher, our mentor. He pushed us, challenged us, refused to let us settle for anything less than our absolute best. We learned spells, we practiced techniques, we honed our skills until they were sharper than Godric Gryfinder's own sword, but it wasn't just about the magic, you know. It was about the camaraderie, the sense of purpose, the knowledge that we were all in this together. We supported each other, encouraged each other, celebrated each other's victories. And when the going got tough, when the spells seemed too difficult or the obstacles too great, we rallied together, drawing strength from one another's courage and determination, and let me tell you, my friends, that courage and determination was put to the test. Umbridge and her goons were relentless in their attempts to shut us down, to crush our spirit and our resolve. But did we let them? Heck no. We fought back, tooth and nail, using every trick in the book to stay one step ahead of them that we met in secret, in hidden rooms and abandoned classrooms, always on the lookout for Umbridge spies. We used the Marauder's map to navigate the castle, avoiding detection at every turn. And when the pressure was on, when the stakes were high, we rallied together, drawing on the strength and support of our fellow Dumbledore's army members, and let's not forget about our first big victory, shall we? When Umbridge tried to take over Hogwarts, we showed her that she couldn't just waltz in and take control. We fought back, using the skills we'd learned in our secret meetings, and we won. That must have really chapped her toad-like hide, didn't it? But it wasn't just about the victories, my friends. It was about the bonds we forged, the friendships we built, the sense of purpose and camaraderie that kept us going even in the darkest of times. We were more than just a group of students, we were a family, a band of brothers and sisters, united in our fight against the forces of darkness, and you know what? I wouldn't trade that for anything in the world. Because when the chips were down, when the going got tough, we had each other. We had a safe haven, a place where we could come together, support one another, and prepare for the battles to come. And that, my friends, is priceless so let's hear it for Dumbledore's army. Let's hear it for the bravery, the determination, the unwavering spirit that carried us through those difficult times. Let's hear it for the friendships we forged, the bonds we strengthened, and the legacy we left behind. Because make no mistake, my friends, what we did here, what we accomplished together, will be remembered for generations to come so let's keep that fire burning bright, shall we? Let's continue to fight, to resist, to stand up for what we believe in. Let's show Umbridge and all her cronies that they can't break us, that they can't crush our spirit. Let's prove to the world that Gryffindors are a force to be reckoned with, and that we'll never, ever back down from a challenge because that's what it means to be a Gryffinder, my friends. It means standing tall in the face of adversity, facing our fears head-on, and never, ever giving up.
it means using our courage, our wit, and our determination to overcome any obstacle that stands in our way. And it means standing together, as a united front, to fight for the greater good so let's do it, Gryffindors, let's show the world what we're made of. Let's make Dumbledore's army proud, and let's prove to everyone that we are the bravest, the boldest, and the most unstoppable group of witches and wizards Hogwarts has ever seen. Because when we stand together, my friends, there's nothing we can't achieve.